In part four, preventing cross-contamination, you will learn its causes and how to avoid this potentially dangerous problem. Avoiding cross-contamination is one of the most important keys in a kitchen. It's critical to avoid cross-contamination. Always keep your raw meat, like chicken, separate from your ready-to-eat foods, like vegetables. Cross-contamination is the spread of bacteria from raw meat to other foods. This happens when blood or juice from raw chicken or other meat gets onto a counter, cutting board, utensils, or hands. The bacteria present can spread to other food. It's very important to keep raw meat away from other food. Always wash your hands after handling raw meat. Food contact surfaces that touch raw meat must be washed and sanitized. Never prepare raw meat in areas near other foods. Use one cutting board for fresh produce and a separate one for raw meat, poultry, and seafood. Never place cooked food on a surface that has previously held raw meat, poultry, seafood, or eggs. Cooked food can become infected by the bacteria these other foods harbor. Storage is another place where cross-contamination can occur. Store raw foods on shelves below ready-to-eat foods to minimize contamination from accidental drips or other contact. Store meat with a higher cooking temperature, like chicken, below meat with a lower cooking temperature, like fish. In my kitchen, every employee follows safety steps to avoid cross-contamination. Here's what we learned about cross-contamination. It's caused by bacteria in raw meat spreading to other foods. Always keep vegetables and meat separate. Always wash your hands after handling raw meat. Use separate cutting boards for meats and vegetables. Store raw foods on shelves below ready-to-eat foods. Keep foods with a higher cooking temperature, like chicken, below foods with a lower cooking temperature, like beef.